Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you for your patience while we are letting everyone into the event. Please hang tight and we'll be starting very shortly in a few minutes, making sure everyone can get in. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hello. We are ready, Rachel. Good morning. All right. Hello. We will, we will begin. Uh -huh. Great, let's start. Welcome everyone to the seventh annual Green Film Network Awards. This is the Green Oscars given annually for what we know are the most significant films that have been shown at festivals around the world in the past year. So joining us here today, we have our Green Film Network Festival members. Hello, many of our awards jurors and many of our nominated filmmakers. Thank you for joining us. Also many more of you joining us on our live stream. So everybody, welcome to the event. Uh, this ceremony will last about 30 minutes, just so you know, and then there will be time at the end for a little chat if people want to stick around. Um, so I should introduce myself. I'm Rachel Kaplan and I'm from the Greenfill Network Special Projects Committee. And I'm here to welcome you to this ceremony. Uh, you may know me, some of you, as the previous director of the San Francisco Green Film Festival. I join you today from Edinburgh in Scotland, where I'm working on projects for the United Nations Climate Conference, the COP26, which will be in Glasgow this November. So we, the Green Film Network, we hope many, to welcome many of you to Scotland for the conference later in the year. So the COP is vital for bringing people together from all over the world and the Green Film Network is really like the Green Film United Nations. Our organization has over 30 members and the, which are the leading film festivals worldwide that focus on environmental issues. And through this association and our work, we give voice to people all over the world whose stories may otherwise never be heard. Our annual awards honor the most inspiring and impactful environmental films that have been shown at the member festivals in the past year and explore critical issues such as climate, food, energy, wildlife and oceans. This is our seventh annual awards ceremony. Previously, the awards were hosted as live events at the member festivals each year, including Paris, Zaragoza, Dominican Republic, San Francisco, Toronto and SEA. This is our first time hosting the awards online. And although it's due to the tough circumstances of the pandemic, we couldn't be more delighted that this virtual event means so many of you can join us today and that we're presenters and filmmakers here from every corner of the planet. So today we're giving three awards for the best short film of 2020, the best green feature documentary of 2020, and a special one-time award for film of the decade honoring an exceptional work from the past 10 years. The nominations this year included an incredible 43 films from 25 countries, which were nominated by all the member festivals worldwide. So thank you to all the nominated filmmakers here today for your exceptional work. The winners are decided by an international jury, which this year had 36 members. Thank you to the jury. Um, information on the nominated films was on our website and the winning films will be screened uh, later this year uh, on hopefully on World Environment Day, June 5th. So please stay tuned to our website, Green Film Net, and on our social media at Green Film Net for any updates. As we announce the winners today, there will be and the announcement, then a clip from the film. And then if you have won, we invite you to speak for a couple of minutes. So if you hear that you've won an award, 
please get ready to go live after the clip. Everyone else, please mute yourselves unless you have to speak. Finally, I have a few people to, to thank before we can start the show. Uh, this year, the Greenfield Network formed a new organization and relocated to new headquarters in Innsbruck in Austria. We're grateful for support from the Austrian government to strengthen the network in this way and enable us to expand our activities in the year ahead. So thank you to the city of Innsbruck, Innsbruck Tourist Board and the government of the land of Tyrol. Thank you also to our global partners, the United Nations Environment Programme and the World Bank's Film for Climate initiative. Finally, these awards are only happening today because of our amazing international volunteer team who have been working on this since last summer. So a huge thank you to my fellow Special Projects Committee members, Yitka in the Czech Republic, Mazdak in Iran, Valeria in Brazil and Eleanor in Mexico. Thank you also to Ivy and our graphic design team in Brazil, to Punky and our website team in Mexico, and our technical magician Mariano in Argentina, who is making all this Zoom and live stream magic happen today. Thank you everyone that made this happen. Now on with the show, please welcome our first award presenter. Leah Freshi is the programmer of Cinema Ambiente Environmental Film Festival in Italy. And this year will join the board of the Green Film Network. Welcome, Leah. Hi everyone. Thanks for being here with us. So let's go. First of all, we would like to thank all the filmmakers for their amazing shorts. It's been a very tough competition and uh, choosing the winner has not been uh, really an easy task, believe me. And now Mariana is gonna show us all the nominees for the best uh, Green Film Network, Green Shorts of 2020. So you will know all the finalists. I hope. And in, um, I mean, in recent years, the production of environmental shorts has increased all around the world. And it's incredible the variety among them. Fiction, documentary, animation, experimental, music video. And uh, for us as festivals, we can only be happy about that. But um, let's see if Mariano can show us the picture with all the nominees for the green short of the year. Let's see. Yep. Oh, great. And uh, so we can announce the winner or better, the winners, cause for the short films, we have an exec award. And the two winners are really an example of the vitality of the environmental short I was telling before. Because they are filmed in two completely different styles. They are both sharp, engaging stories from within the environment. So the best green film network, green short of 2020 are All Inclusive by Corina Schwingruber Illich and Coffee and Latte by Sasha Rainbow. And we, will, we are gonna see the clips, two short clips of the film, and then we will have Corina and Sasha online for a short speech. And so ladies first, so Corina, if you could speak right after the clips and then we will hear from Sasha a couple of words. So congratulations and thanks for your films.
This is Agma Bloshi, Sodom and Gomorrah. This is Westerners. Today, I was about to say that we are the people I think if I could change Agro Bloshi, I would first of all change the perception people have about Agro Bloshi. I started a video project with Kofi and Lati because I think we can tell the stories better. Hello everybody, I'm Vasanthi from New Delhi, India. I'm representing CMS Vatavaran, Asia's largest exclusive film festival on environment and wildlife. Um, I'm actually delighted to be on the jury this year again on the GFN award because you get to see such a delightful films that I would have never ever imagined to view. And this year again, it was absolute um, uh, pleasure to sit in the lockdown and watch all the beautiful films and be inspired from it. Um, for us, all the, all the films that come to be nominated for GFN are winners because they already are the best of the best. Uh, but for us, we, obviously the GFN award is has to be given to one person or one film. So therefore we had to be se very selective and it was a tough competition as Leah also mentioned earlier. I'm very happy to announce GFN 2020 best green feature documentary. And the, obviously I think there are no uh, guesses. Uh, Marian, are you showing the nominations for this please? Yes, thank you. Uh, the nominations are, as you can see, were, were number of them, and uh, very happy to announce that the GFN 2020 Best Green Feature Documentary goes to Anthropocene, The Human Epoch uh, by Jennifer Baikwell and Nick Dipensier. The film absolutely was a beautiful, it was selected for its spectacular cinematography of, of both the beauty and devastation of our planet. Uh, it, it shows, it, it, it's so mind boggling to see that. It was really amazing to see the footage that they had from across the world, not just in one particular area, but across. It also showed the amount of human greed, the extent of human greed today exists, but it also has a very narrative inspiring, very narrative, uh, very inspiring narrative. And that's why it really takes takes the uh, takes a bow, take a bow uh, to the both the winners. And let's see a film clip, Mariano. Thank you very much. And congratulations to all the nominees and the winners. is the time in the geological record when humans have the planet side its low limits. Humans go from being participants in the whole Earth to being a dominant feature. Dominating the oceans, the landscape, agriculture, animals. It could be a full-scale catastrophic change. We have not a way to get back. We live now in a different Forward. It is such a fundamental change in the way the Earth is behaving that we need to communicate that as powerfully as possible to everybody.
Jollain Kuljana, take it. Um, hi everyone, I am Juliana Paniagua, I'm from Festivere in Colombia, the first and largest environmental film festival in the country. Um, I'm here to present um, the category of Best Green Film of the Decade Award. I would say it's, the, it's an honor for me to present, to be able to present this category because the films, um, I'm sure that the films that were presented by all the film festivals are masterpieces and very necessary content for this for this time uh, and I would like to thank all the nominees uh, do you have the slide showing them yep it's online all right So the finalists are Daughter of the Lake by Ernesto Cabellos, Race and Extinction by Luis y Hoyos, and Sun Wars by Denise del Estrac. So I'm going to announce the winner right now, and it's uh, Race and Extinction by Luis y Hoyos. Congratulations. Um, this is a, direct, a film where the, the director brings together activists, scientists, natural photographers, and cutting edge inventors in the global exploration for the current mass extinction species. It's a very powerful and enduring call to action with spectacular use of technology. It's very powerful, stunning, stunning to look at and relevant and it uh, stands the, the test of time. So congratulations and I hope we have more films like this in the future. Just curious, how many cameras do you have on you right now? Bingo. Hey. We'll be driving species to extinction a thousand times faster than they should be. If we all lose hope, there is no hope. There's still a lot left that's worth fighting for. This is the biggest story in the world. We're on that tipping point now, where it's either too late or just the beginning of a movement. Racing Extinction, a Watch With The World global premiere, Wednesday, December 2nd at 9 on Discovery. And now we would like to invite our winners to say a few words. Please, if we could hear from uh, Corina, winner of Best Short for your film, All Inclusive. Congratulations. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm completely uh, surprised. I'm outside, so with my friends, and I was just jumping in uh, the award ceremony so I'm completely not prepared but I'm really happy and honored to to get this award and my friends there as well <laughs> we are making a small award party here <laughs> so yes thank you very much Thank you and congratulations, Karina. Uh, I would like to invite, we have two short award winners this year because the films were exceptional. So please, um, Sasha Rainbow, we would love to hear from you, your film, Kofi and Larte. Thank you. Hi, can you see me? I can see you, but I can't see myself. Um, okay, great. Yeah, thank you so much. That's uh, yeah, a real honor. Um, the film is about two young boys living on one of the biggest electronic waste dumps in the world and how they are able to sort of view their world through a new lens when they use a camera that would normally be destined to be broken up um, in this e-waste uh, dump to kind of, yeah, to, to look at their lives and the environment in a new way. And, you know, we just really hope that it helps contribute to a much needed conversation about electronic waste and like what we do with our electronics 
um, what big large companies do with electronics when they are no long when they're outdated. So yeah, thank you so much for um, for this honor and this award. And now we would like to invite the winners of the best green feature documentary, uh, which is the film Anthropocene, an absolutely stunning film shown at many of the member festivals last year. Um, are you here, Jennifer and Nick? We are here um, and we're, we're very, <laughs> we're just blown away and extremely proud and honoured to be included with such an incredible group of, of films. You know, we're all in this together um, and uh, uh, we're extremely grateful for the recognition. This was a really long project for us. Uh, it was five years in the making and it included a museum exhibition and a couple of books and an educational program and what else? <laughs> and it, it was very much necessarily a collaboration first uh, on the filmmaking front with our friend, the photographer, Edward Bertinsky, whose photograph is behind us. So he's being represented, um, <laughs> but also with the scientists of the Anthropocene Working Group and many, many people. And I think it's indicative of our uh, philosophy that the big systemic uh, solutions to our challenges are going to be collaborative, they're going to be intersectional, they're going to be reaching across divides of disciplines and media. Um, and so uh, for us, the form represented, I think on a meta level, um, uh, some of the solutions that we're certainly striving for and hopefully invite others to participate in as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. And finally, our very special award for best film of the decade, the absolutely exceptional Racing Extinction. Louis Sahoyas, please, um, I'd like to give you, give you the floor. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you all. I mean, oh, what, you know, what, what, what gives me hope is that films, photography, music, art is the most powerful weapon in the world that we have to create social change. You know, my, my, uh, my underwater photographer friend, David Duplay said, you know, they have the ability, film has the ability to change minds and hearts. And that's the most difficult thing in the world to do. And we need to change our minds and hearts really quickly because the underlying system of our economy, the supply and demand is, is crashing our ecosystem. Because when Adam Smith wrote The Wealth of Nations 250 years ago, he was, he was just thinking about supply and demand. He wasn't thinking about externalities. Externalities like we know the way that we're working our economy is crashing the biosphere. We're, we're heating the oceans. We're acidifying them with, a, with the burning of fossil fuels. We're creating the conditions that make an economy and the world inhabitable, not just for humanity, but for the rest of, rest of the world. We're at this juncture right now where we're the only generation alive that can affect the change that we need. You know, at the, at the UN, they're calling this the decade of action. We have 10 years to, to solve climate change, the climate crisis, before it's too late. And I, I, I really feel that at the heart of this, you know, we have to, we have to, to change our underlying system of supply and demand. We have to, and we have to reevaluate what it means to be human on this planet, to, to, to think about what makes us human is not wealth, fame, success, money. It's, you know, the, the guy that, that, that financed most of this film is Dieter Pullman. He's an economist. And he told me that the most important asset that we have are our friends and family and love. And what really makes us happy, the only thing that gives us joy is our ability to help lift other people up. And he supported this film. And he, because he saw that th there was something wrong with our underlying system. But it's really the, I, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dieter Pullman for believing in, the, in this film uh, and the message that we're trying to create. Jim Clark, who got me on this path to, uh, to make films, to, I, I switched from photography to film. And it, it, Jim believed in me that this was the most powerful way that we could use our, our influence. Um, you know, there's a Paul Allen, 
Paul Allen's Vulcan production. Uh, he, he did the impact campaign. He died recently, but he left the legacy of the many great works. You know, he's a, Paul Allen was one of the guys of the giving pledge that, uh, you know, very wealthy guy that decided to give away half of his wealth in his lifetime to do works. And part of the, the fallout of that was racing extinction, doing the impact campaign for it. Uh, you know, Jim Clark taught me that, you know, if you want to do good work, surround yourself with great people. You know, he introduced me people like uh, Fisher Stevens, the, the uh, composer J. Ralph. Um, we have great editors, uh, uh, Mark, uh, uh, Jeff Richmond, Matt Stan, Mark Monroe's probably written, you know, more award-winning documentaries than anybody in, in, the, in history. He's been my, my soulmate through this whole process. Uh, I'd like to thank so many people. You know, there's, you know you, the director gets the attention. But, you know, I think as everybody knows that it's really the group of people that you put together that create this. There's a, there's a thousand people I'd love to help, I'd love to, to, to thank because they, they help so much. But thanks to everybody that has their, their name on that masthead. I really appreciate it. And that, this film was done five years ago, but it still resonates throughout the world, you know. Uh, and it's, you know, to me, you know, you know we, we won it you know, a lot of awards, but to me, this is the most important one because it, it, it speaks to what's really important and that's the environment. That's the, the, you know, it helps realign people with what's really important. And what's important is that we have solutions out there. There's enough off the shelf solutions that we need to turn this around. But first we have to address the systemic problem with our culture is that the economy is driven by the wrong things. We need to, uh, to adjust an economy that thinks about the externalities, that the fallout of doing great business shouldn't be the crashing of the biosphere. We need to be realigning our businesses and our lives so that we become sustainable, really sustainable. Well, anyway, uh, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. And, uh, um, and, and thanks to all the other filmmakers. There, there's some great films out there and, um, this is the Oscars of the environment. And thank you so much for this wonderful award. I, I appreciate it. S salute. <laughs> thank you, Louis. Um, so wonderful to have everybody here today, all the filmmakers. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you to everyone that was nominated. Please don't forget to visit our website at greenfilmnet.org or follow our social media at greenfilmnet for information on all the nominated films and updates on how you can see the winners. Thank you to you, our Green Film Network community, for your dedication, your support, all your work for a greener future. This is the official end of the event. If you're on Zoom, you're welcome to stay and chat. But for now, goodbye. <laughs>